I saw the same thing you did and ignored it for the same reason. And uh, maybe somebody had some information that this had been set up ahead of time. I, it's hard to tell. Well, we know they had NLE-010 with simulated nuke attacks set to start on May 6th, and that came out in mainstream news, but then they, quote, canceled it. It is suspicious that I hadn't thought of that. Great point, Pastor. I hadn't thought of, of uh, it's, it's, it's too incredible, Bob. It is, and, uh, you know, uh, our problem is that we got to back into everything. You know, we have nothing at our disposal. I mean, we have to use our ingenuity, and... And it's hard to cover everything. Pastor, great uh, points. Anything else? Yes. Uh, that's why, Alex, you you and Steve Quell and people like you guys, uh, the one you had on there yesterday, uh, Red, I believe was his name. Red Beckman. That's, yeah, that's why you guys are so important, because you help everyone else get involved, and you got more eyes seeing things that you can't see. So uh, my whole thing is, is just hang in there and just keep putting your faith and trust in the Lord and, and just keep doing what God has called you to do, Alex, because you're allowing more and more people to wake up. Can Pastor, that's that? a great point. God bless you. We'll be back in 70 seconds. It is already the fourth and final hour on this May 7th, Friday edition. Bob Chapman of the internationalforecaster.com is our guest with the best market and economic analyst out there predicted everything that's currently happening years and years ago with the derivatives bomb run by Goldman Sachs and the other six criminal banks. We're taking your phone calls, your questions, your comments about uh, what you saw happen yesterday with the plunge protection team when the market dropped a thousand points because of European trading. They pumped it back up through manipulation. That's on record. They have that power. The media is saying a fat finger did it. Uh, maybe the Easter Bunny did it. Now, I want to go through a lot of calls quickly and go through a bunch of Twitter questions here uh, because I also want to, uh, if, if you can get in, have brokers or traders call in. We've confirmed that all over the country and the world, regular brokers and traders and day traders couldn't get online during this scenario. Uh, let's go ahead and take calls for Bob Chapman. Let's talk to Al in Texas. You're on the air. Go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> thank you very much, Alex. I'm... Um Always happy to hear Bob Chapman. He's great. Um, I uh, am asking him specifically about his um, um, advice that we have a what amounts to a congressional clean sweep because I have more than a little uh, experience both in finance and in politics. Um, I certified the American uh, Stock Exchange and the NASD trading computers uh, because I was both a principal engineer and a, um, an SEC registered financial advisor. I resigned my licenses for two specific congressional acts. One was the revocation of Glass-Steagall, and the other was the authorization of the Treasury Department to make secret transactions of any volume whatsoever. Uh, under those conditions, I was satisfied, this was 20 years ago more or less, I was satisfied that the American stock, uh, stock market is absolutely rigged from beginning to end, and that the only alternative to that was to get a clean sweep in Congress. I have done uh, work for uh, Ralph Nader, uh, recently for uh, Deborah Medina, and I just uh, a month ago completed um, uh, all for free a, um, uh, a manpower analysis for Ohio Congressional District 6 for James Trafficant. Now, I will name names if I am asked them, but... Uh, well, Al, let now. me say this. Send us your name, your info. We'll check on you. You sound very credible. I'd like to have you on as a guest, even in studio, if you're in Texas or over the phone, uh, with your information. And uh, so, so we'd, like to, we'd like to talk to you. In fact, we'll put you on hold and get your number, and uh, you can send us your info. And, uh, but uh, any other points you've got for folks or, or questions or comments? I just, I just have a quick question. You're, you're finance. I'm finance. I'm, t I'm not talking to the candidates, I'm talking to the campaign managers. And the campaign managers are finance people. And I just recently was stunned, I just flabbergasted, when in passing I happened to mention that um, the, uh, uh, the American government had a, a new policy of assassinating Americans. The campaign manager for a, one of these candidates didn't ask me what my evidence was. He, he said flat out, that's a lie. 
And I said, no, it isn't, and I will uh, be happy to put together. Well, no, that was in AP and UPI that they will assassinate Americans they believe are tied to terror, and they're saying they're going to arrest Americans. They have bills introduced without due process if they claim they think you might be a terrorist and strip you of your constitutional rights. That's true. And I, I said, I'll put together a half a dozen of these film clips for you, which I did. I called him back, gave him the link to my server. Uh, again, I provide all these services to politicians for free. And I gave him the link to my server to these, these half a dozen video clips of this. To this day, he has never logged on to that, uh, to that link. Well, let me raise this point and then come back and get Bob's take on it, Al. When you look at all the major finance ministers in, in major nations, you look at local mayors, city managers, they're all run by the big banks. Bob Chapman. That's right, and these people just don't want to know. And he probably knew already, but didn't want to admit it and said, I don't believe it. He didn't say I don't believe it. He said I was, that I was lying. Well, it, it's tantamount. Uh, it's another way of putting it. Well, I read, uh, I read like seven or eight mainstream news articles yesterday where they said they're going to kill and secretly arrest and torture citizens and strip us of our rights and that the Pentagon has this power. Al, give us your phone number. We'd like to talk to you, okay? We're going to put you on hold. Stay there, Bob Chapman. Okay. More calls. I'm going to rattle through your phone calls, your questions for Bob Chapman on what's happening with the global economic meltdown, what happened with a thousand-point plunge, and then it going right back up with the uh, plunge protection team run by the federal government manipulating the market. We're going to discuss this all with Bob Chapman right now. He's with us at the bottom of the hour. Then I'm going to continue with your phone calls about what happened yesterday and get into some other very important police state uh, news. We have footage of a SWAT team up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com with my commentary going into a house over a gram, that's less than a joint of marijuana, killing both their dogs, including a Welsh corgi, uh, pointing guns at little kids, and then sending the CPS to try to take the kids because they had marijuana. Meanwhile, we have the Fox News clip in the clip where they admit our government's growing the opium in Afghanistan. Now, they've been caught flying cocaine in, congressional hearings in the 70s and in 96 admitted the CIA ships a lot of the narcotics in, the big banks launder it. By keeping drugs illegal, that keeps the price high, which the banks can then launder. But Bob Chapman, it's been in foreign newspapers that our government has more than, uh, what, it's 12 times plus a year ago, the amount of opium being produced uh, pre-2001 in Afghanistan. But now to put Marine commanders on Fox News to say, yes, we help them grow it. If we don't, Al-Qaeda will sell it and make money. So, oh, we've, we've got to sell it because they'll sell it if we don't. No, you decriminalize it. But this is how they corrupt the troops in Vietnam. It's how they corrupted them in World War II for narcotics. Uh, you know, you worked in military intelligence before you became one of the biggest gold and silver traders out there, before you started your top newsletter, the international forecaster and the ones that were uh, before that. But what can you say about government narcotics trafficking and the fact that they are openly admitting now they're shipping the drugs in, but then when you're caught with marijuana, we're going to kill your dog and take your kids? Well... Uh, the OSS got involved with MI6 in the late 1930s in the opium trade. Prior to that, uh, the privateers were running uh, opium from India uh, to China in behalf of the uh, British royal family. And so uh, America uh, has been directly involved in the, uh, the process of distributing uh, narcotics, which happens to be the most lucrative trade in the entire world and almost every fortune of the royal families of Europe are, was made from the narcotics business. Now, I've interviewed about 15, um, almost all Marines uh, in Afghanistan who told me they were guarding the opium poppies. That was their job. And so uh, what the uh, colonel has said is absolutely true and uh, they're going to continue to do it. And uh, they're producing 93% of the world's opium right now, and all, the largest crop of marijuana in the world. And the first place they flood is Europe, and of course the Russians are furious about it. And uh, Yeah, that's in Reuters. They're saying, spray the poppies, and our own government, NATO, says, no, we're growing it. And they put Marines on TV with Geraldo, telling us it's good that our government grows it and ships it out. 
But then the cops go in and kill people's dogs and laugh at them over a gram of marijuana in front of little kids in a middle-class home. It's so elementary. They ship it in as a pretext to enslave us and put us in prison and control our lives and, and to put us in their private prisons owned by big banks that launder the money. I mean, this is disgusting. And I've got a key video up on Infowars.com. I'm asking listeners to make go mega viral. Government admits they deal heroin, yet terrorize families for pot. This 10-minute video, it is just so disgusting to see this, Bob. And look at Mexico collapsing from their phony drug war, where the U.S. government and the Mexican government are admittedly trying to knock out their competition down there. That's all this is, and it threatens to collapse our southwestern states. Absolutely correct. And you get it nailed. It's a fight to take over the drug business by the CIA and the Mexican government. And there's absolutely no question. And the wealthy Mexicans look the other way. And the, the average Mexican, what's he going to do? And, you know, they're fighting with these groups, and the groups are fighting among each other uh, and, uh, for, you know, pathways into the United States and things like this.